alongside George Peros, the senior VP of player safety. George, you're never going to win friends doing the job you have, but what is your feeling coming out of this meeting in terms of bringing general managers up to date on how things are going with the Department of Player Safety? This meeting always serves as a great opportunity for us to have FaceTime with them, get them together, talking on uh, all the things uh, encompassing player safety, whatever they may be at the time. Uh, but it's a great opportunity for us to explain to them some things that we're seeing, uh, explain to them uh, kind of where we're at with the season in respect to where we've been in previous seasons, uh, cover all sorts of different topics. But uh, a great chance for us to all get together on the same page. You're never going to make both sides happy because you're making a subjective opinion, a subjective call. You try to use precedence as much as you can. Give us a sense of the process of this. Once you decide that something is a suspension, I think the big question mark is people is, how did you decide on four games for that when it looks like a lot like the guy you gave six games before? How do you make that decision? It's tough. There's a lot of nuance involved, as you might imagine. Uh, our goal is always consistency. Uh, we have a similar process that we follow. We have had players, uh, former players and people in this department that have been there for a real long time uh, where we gain consistency from as well. But do you have when like hours and hours of video that's precedent setting? Is that how you do well, it? Well, you know what? Like, uh, we, uh, we track these things all year long. We, we look at 1,000 clips a year. We have 150 plus clips that all inquire thoughts from my department about the players, the people in my department. What do they think about this play? Uh, we send out clips uh, in, within our department that become part of our history and get logged in our brains. And so when something happens uh, on the ice, we have a, we can recall from either memory or a database that we've collected uh, all along the way that allow us to look at similar plays and, and try and uh, act and react um, in a reasonable and consistent manner. Something that blew me away was hearing you say there's 13 members of your staff <laughs> right now, which seems like a huge number, a lot of people. You're always trying to evolve. You're always trying to improve what you're doing. That's a big part of what these GM meetings are. What have you learned about during your time with the Department of Player Safety that you say, here's areas that we need to continue to evolve in? It's funny you mention that because even, even here it's nice to remind the guys that we have somebody dedicated to every single game, home and away feeds. We've got uh, a full staff, fully staffed room in New York City that watches every minute of every game. We've got camera angles, as you guys know, coming from every different direction. We see a lot. We pay attention to everything. We like to see, we think we can see it all. Uh, we're a dedicated group of people, uh, dedicated to this one specific task of keeping this game uh, uh, as safe as possible, uh, maintain as much physicality as we can within the rules. Uh, and, and that's that's where our life uh, circulates around. So it's nice to share that with this group. Way harder job than when you play? I take more beatings now than I ever did on the ice, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> George, thanks for this. Thank you.